so as you guys know, I took my step one exam and I just wanted to make a quick video about what to do before you take a big exam. So towards the end of the studying, you should really be saving your best practice exams. So you don't want to be wasting your valuable practice questions before you actually learn the material because that's really going to be the best way to gauge how you're going to do on the exam itself. So for example, for step one, that's going to be your NBMEs and your um, UWorld self-assessment. Self so you want to save those towards the end of your studying so that you're, you've covered all the topics that are going to show up on the exam. About a week before your exam, you really start getting into a sleep schedule that will allow you to perform at your best. So for example, if you've been studying from noon to 3 a.m. or something, you should really start to go to bed early if your exam is going to be in the morning times like 9 a.m. or 8 a.m. so that when you take your exam, you're not awake when you should be sleeping, um, so your body is used to that uh, schedule. You might also want to start thinking about what you want to write down on your um, sheet of paper that you're given. For me, I was given like a laminated paper so, and marker so I can write down some stuff. Specifically for step one, I focus on the uh, formulas that are on the back of first aid. I thought it was a really comprehensive list of formulas. I didn't really have to use much of it, but I didn't have to use anything that wasn't on that list. So definitely look at that. Especially if you have um, just like a bit of memorization heavy material that you always have a hard time recalling, you might want to write that down at the beginning of your test, maybe during tutorial time, so that um, you're not wasting time when you're actually taking the exam and doing questions. And I mentioned this before in one of my vlogs before, if there's any kind of software that you can go through before to kind of simulate what the exam is going to look like, definitely go ahead and do that. For step one, there is something that you can download Fortunately, it only works on uh, Windows computers, so you can download from a Windows computer and kind of go through what the tutorial process looks like and what the exam software looks like. The day before your exam, you should definitely know how to get to your testing center. You should have an idea of what traffic is going to be like. Plan to get there at least half an hour before your actual test time, even earlier if um, that's what your testing center wants you to do. Um, you should get all your documents and photo IDs and everything you need ready. Um, you know, pens and whatever. I don't know if different different testing centers have different rules. Um, I couldn't bring anything in with me, not even my watch. You can't bring any of your own pens in. So um, definitely look at the rules. Avoid having too much caffeine during the day because you want to get a good night's sleep um, and that's really important. You should set multiple alarms if you have friends or family staying with you or someone who can call you to make sure you're up at the right time. That will be really helpful. This is really important. Don't take any sleeping aids. Like, Don't take any sleep aid to help you sleep because you don't know how it's going to affect you in the morning. A lot of times people do have a hard time falling asleep the night before a big exam. I know I did. Um, I kind of felt like I was half asleep and half awake the whole night and I was doing my flashcards in my head the whole night. I didn't really get a good night's sleep, but I think that's pretty expected before a really important exam. So but don't don't resort to taking a sleep, uh, sleeping aid because that's going to make your brain kind of foggy in the morning. One day before the exam, um, you should gather your snacks and drinks. Um, I went to the grocery store and I got a bunch of little things because I didn't know what I was going to be in the mood for. So, so you know, just get a bunch of stuff that because you, you don't, you never know what you're going to be in the mood for. And to be honest, like I really wasn't in the mood for eating much of anything at all. But just having those options was helpful. Okay, on the day of the exam, definitely wake up early enough that you have enough time to eat a good breakfast. I would say have your normal usual morning caffeine if you're a coffee drinker or tea drinker but don't have too much because you don't want to be going to the bathroom um, every break. Honestly for me the worst feeling is when I start a question block and I can't leave for the next hour and I feel like I have to go pee so that's like the worst situation. Um, I, I think I only have one cup of coffee and maybe a little bit of tea but I pretty much didn't drink much else at all. I had a little bit of water and a little bit of Gatorade, but um, I didn't want to feel like I had to go to the bathroom during the exam. During your exam, take breaks as needed. Um, don't power through sections if you don't have to. If you have the opportunity to take a break, definitely take a break. Um, the way USMLE Step 1 is set up, 
it's seven different blocks. So every block or every every block is one hour long. And you're given a total of one hour break through the entire exam that you can break up and use however way you want to. So I took blocks one and two and I took like a 15 minute break and then three and four and then took another 10-15 minute break. And then I had five, six, seven left. I had originally planned to take another break after blocks five and six, but I ended up just kind of powering through five, six, and seven, three hours of exam in one sitting. And I kind of regretted doing that during block seven. Um, my last block, I all of a sudden um, felt a little antsy. And I wish I had taken my break um, as originally planned. So definitely don't power through blocks if you don't have to take a break. You never know if you're gonna to want to go to the bathroom. Make a plan for what's best for you and stick to it. Um, some people like to take a really long break um, between. Um, other people um, will want to break up different sections. So <clears throat> just know your style and stick to what works for you. And remember, if you're taking a multiple choice exam, the answer is on the screen. So don't panic and do whatever that calms you down. Um, breathing exercises, prayer, whatever works for you. Just do it and stay calm and you'll do great. I know some of you guys are studying for exams other than the assembly step one like GMAT or GRE or TOEFL or um, there are these exams that you have to take to get into healthcare field or otherwise. So a recommendation that I received from some of my friends called magoosh.com. I'll put the link down below. It's a lot cheaper than some of the other uh, test prep courses and it's sort of like a self-study thing. So definitely check it out and best of luck to everyone who's studying for an exam. I know a lot of you guys are studying through the summer and not enjoying your summer vacation. So just keep up the good work and I'm sure you guys will do great.